Hi, I'm Dr. Angela McBurdy of DrFlute.com, and today I'm going to teach you how to set up a flute trial with Flute Center of New York. Well, if you're interested in setting up a flute trial, that means you've outgrown the flute that you have and you need a better one, or one that's going to give you the tone quality you're looking for. And that's really exciting. So um, the first thing to do is get all kinds of excited about that um, because a new flute, number one, it's shiny and gorgeous. But number two, you're looking for a flute that takes you to the next level. So get ready because it'll be one of the most exciting things of your life. Well, you know, besides children and those kinds of things, but still it's very exciting. I'm all for supporting your local music stores and uh, that's a great thing. I think shop local is, is a fantastic idea. However, when you're looking for a new instrument, most of the time your local store doesn't give you the inventory of different flutes for you to try. You don't want to just have one flute available to you. You want to be able to try three uh, different different flutes or, or maybe even more if you so desire. Uh, so going to a store that specializes in flutes such as the Flute Center of New York is going to give you that inventory of different head joints and different bodies, uh, different makers of flute that you can really search out the flute that works for you. To start your flute trial, you'll first want to go to flutecenter.com and fill out the form and they'll ask you some questions and ask you what you're looking for, those kinds of ideas. But what that will do is notify their resident flutists that you are looking for a flute and someone will give you a call uh, or email you and they're going to help you pick out the right flutes for you. Um, don't be afraid. If you don't know what you're looking for, but you know you need something more, you need a step-up instrument, you need an intermediate level flute, or even if you're going for the pro, you're going up a huge jump and you need those more expensive instruments, one of their resident flutists will help you figure out what are the flutes that you need to try and then they can have them shipped to you. When you use my code, Dr. Flute, which is D-R-F-L-U-T-E, you're going to get your instrument for an extended time. Instead of seven days, you get the instruments that you're trying for 10 days. And that can be really crucial because if you're really debating between a, two instruments and you've narrowed it down or you've narrowed it to the instrument and which head joint works best, it is so nice to have that at your house practicing in your own environment so you hear your flute as you practice it every day uh, and you get that extra time. It's also going to give you uh, free shipping which can be very crucial. That can run into to money. You'll get a 10% discount on sheet music and um, when you buy your instrument you will have an 18 month service guarantee. So that can really help too because, um, you know, you have a wonderful instrument here, but it can go out of alignment and then you get to have it serviced. So that's a, a great aspect of this flute trial. If you are out of New York State, they will ship the instruments to you without being taxed. So if you're out of state of New York, because their center, Flute Center of New York, in New York State, um, tax is there. But if they ship out, you don't get taxed. Now, they do want your credit card when they ship you the instruments, and they will charge it $70. But that comes back to you. You, They don't keep it. It's just a, a guarantee. It's like earnest money on a house. And they will refund that to you whether you buy an instrument or not. That leads me to the other point. They want you to be serious about buying an instrument. When you're going to, if you're going to do a flute trial, you need to be seriously considering 
that you're going to buy one of the instruments that they send you. They don't have all the instruments in the world. It's not like there's this huge supply. They need to know well, if they're going to send it out to you, they're being uh, honest and in earnest that you are considering uh, buying that instrument. Now, you don't have to. If it's just not the instruments for you, um, you don't have to. But um, they are sending it to you with the idea that your intent is to buy one of them that is being sent to you. So don't forget that $70 will be charged, but it's refunded whether you buy an instrument or not. Financing is available and they do ship uh, internationally, but that's another deal. So you would have to call them or email them and let them know that you're an international uh, flutist that's looking for an instrument and see what the uh, deal is with that because I'm not sure exactly how they do their international sales. And now something really exciting starts happening because you've told Flute Center of New York what instruments you want, and now they're going to ship them. And so you start getting a couple emails telling you that your order has been shipped and when it's going to arrive. And that is one exciting day. So right now I have a box right here because I had a flute shipped to me so that I could unbox it in front of you and uh, show you what to do because there's a couple more things that you have to get in line before you actually get to take this instrument out of the box. And the first thing that I need to do is I need to go brush my teeth, I need to wash my hands, and I need to take off all jewelry. Necklaces, if they're long, jewelry, we can't have any of that on when we unbox the instrument. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go do that. All right, I'm back. I've brushed my teeth. I've washed my hands and I've taken off my rings. So let's open this box. Now I'm going to unbox this instrument. Let's see. Now there's a lot of material in here that protects your instrument. So here's the thing you're going to do. You're going to take it out and you're going to save it all. You're going to save the box that it came in because when it's time to send whatever you're not keeping and buying back, you're going to use the same box. Now, I have a flute here that has, and also um, I got extra head joints for it. So when you're doing your trial, you can ask for different head joints, and I'll talk about the different head joints in a little bit. Let's take this baby out. So after checking my invoice, I see that I do have the instrument and the head joints that I've asked for. Um, this is a Haynes Amadeus flute. It, it has a sterling silver head joint and a silver plated body and mechanism. And I can't wait to open it up. The head joints that I have, I'll show you each one. One, they're both sterling silver head joints. Um, and one of them has a 14 karat riser and the other has a nine karat lip plate. So they will sound differently. And don't be afraid to ask for different head joints when you are getting your flute trial. Sometimes we just think about the flute and we don't think about head joints, but there's a world of difference between some head joints and it can make or break the instrument that you're looking for. You can have a great body and the head joint just takes it to the next level. So that is something to consider too. Do you want a little bit of gold? Do you want a lot of gold? I'm not a real huge gold player. Um, I think it takes a little bit more air than I generally have. So I like gold lip plate and gold riser. I think that's a fantastic combination. Just a hint of something different in your tone quality. Now it's time to open this up and take the instrument out. Now, I just want to say one more thing. You want to use your own cleaning cloths, all right? My chamois here, that I will wipe it down after I'm done playing, and my own cleaning cloth, because don't you're not going to use the cloth that came in the case 
because then you have to buy it. So remember that. Bring your own cloth, your own cleaning rod into wherever you're trying your instrument out. And as soon as you are done playing, you wipe it down. Wipe off all the fingerprints. It's um, nice to keep taking it out the next day and see it, this shiny silver instrument anyway. And then if you don't and you send it back, they'll charge a cleaning fee. So just remember to clean off your instrument when you're done playing. All right, let's open it up. And I'm going to take this instrument out. Man, is it beautiful. All right, so there's my foot joint on. I'm going to line up my head joint. Okay. So I'm just going to notice something here. This head joint is a little bit too loose for me. So I, that's something I would tell Flute Center of New York. You, you don't, if you feel like um, I could never hold on to the flute, I mean, you, you shouldn't hold on to your flute from the head joint anyway, but uh, that is a little bit too loose. So please note those little things and Flute Center can tell you what the solution is for that. All right, so let's put it together here. Now, I'm not going to do a whole, right now, a whole thing on how to pick the right flute and what you're listening for and the things you should do, but I will play them all for you so you can hear what they sound like. Uh, I think it's a gorgeous instrument. Uh, it's a Amadeus, I think I didn't say it's a 680. So if you like the sound of this instrument, uh, look, ask them for an Amadeus 680. They are doing amazing things in these intermediate flutes these days. I think that is one rich and gorgeous sound. Um, I'm going to play that little passage, passage on each uh, head joint to see what it sounds like. Something that I have to get used to is this offset G here. Uh, on my flute, you can see I do not have an offset G. And so uh, it takes a little bit of adjustment for me to not overshoot the G when I'm trying an instrument. But definitely I recommend an offset G. I think it's, I think it's been known to be better for your long-term health of your hand and preventing some of those hand injuries that you can get. So let's play it one more time uh, and uh, hear what that sounds like. And then I'm going to try one of the other head joints. So let's try this. Okay, so that E didn't come out quite the way I wanted to because I was not covering properly this offset G. But your hands will adjust. So if that's you, don't be afraid. Your hand will adjust. All right, let me try with a different head joint. So I'm going to try the 14 karat riser next. All right, I have the head joint that has the 14 karat riser. Put that in. That fits very snugly. I like how the fit of that is into the head joint here. All right, let me try it now. Wow, that's a completely different sound. It's just fantastic sound. I, I think this this is one nice instrument. Um, I like having just that bit of gold. I think it gives you a little bit more power. Uh, I feel there's a little more edge to the sound, which is sort of a, a modern idea of flute tone to have a little bit of an edge to it these days. <laughs> I'm 
I feel like there's a lot of power to this. Oh, nice. Nice head joint. Let's try the nine carat uh, lip plate and you'll be able to see the gold. Now, if you haven't uh, tried a flute with a riser, so the riser is what attaches the lip plate to the tube here. That is where your air is going to hit and that's why it resonates so differently. It's a, a, a really nice idea to add just a, a bit of gold and a little bit different color. Uh, but I thought on this particular one, man, it made my sound really big and um, full. So here's the nine carat, let me make sure, nine carat lip plate right here. And you can see that it is gold. Let's attach that. All right, let's hear what that sounds like. completely different sound there. It's rich, it's resonant, it's full. I, I think the nine, the uh, 14 karat riser made it bigger, but I think the edge, it's very edgy on this. And if that is attractive to you, if that's what you hear as the ideal sound, then that's the lip plate that you want. You want that head joint. Uh, man, these are beautiful instruments. I love the sound that it makes and it's amazing that you can get that on a silver plated body with these uh, head joints that are just so lovely. Uh, I think that if you change out your head joint you can often get what you're looking for without having to pay the really huge bucks of the entire flute going to professional model. Uh, especially if you're an amateur flutist and you want something different but you don't want to pay the 10,000 and up for a professional flute, changing out the head joint is a wonderful option for you. So I think I'm going to play around with these instruments a little bit and then um, I will have to put them away. And when I put them away, I'm going to take out my chamois cloth here and my cleaning rod and I'm going to make sure that I remove all my fingerprints from the flute so that I put it away and when I take it out tomorrow to play on it a little bit more, it's going to be shiny and clean. And then I won't forget when it's time to send back um, whatever is not being purchased and it will be completely clean. One more thing, about a day or two before the end of your trial, Flute Center will contact you and will, you know, kind of feel you out. How are you doing? What are, do you have any questions? And then they will also say, are you ready to send it back? And I will send you a label so that you have the label already for that box that you kept with all the packing material and you can send back what you're not keeping in that same box and you have a label. So then that takes that worry uh, right off right off the plate. But also it gives you someone to talk to to say, okay, here's what I'm thinking and see if there's any more information that you need from Flute Center and the resident flutists. The resident flutists there that work at Flute Center are all flute players and they can really help you find the right instrument. So don't be afraid to ask. So I'm going to play a little bit more, then I'm going to clean them off and put them away. So if you're looking for a new instrument, try the Flute Center of New York at flutecenter.com and uh, fill out their form. Use the code D-R-F-L-U-T-E, Dr. Flute, and uh, enjoy 
exploring the realms and the different kinds of flutes and picking your new flute.